Welcome back to students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications and we are covering the theory videos for chapter 18 on inventory and overhead and we've been doing the inventory valuations um, methods <coughs> excuse me and in this video um, we are going to cover both FIFO and LIFO which you know, I had said chapter 18 seems to give everybody the most amount of trouble, but within chapter 18, FIFO and LIFO seems to give everybody the most amount of trouble. So this video may take, uh, you know, I could have made one for LIFO. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I could have made one for FIFO, and I could have made one for LIFO, okay, uh, separate videos. But I think in um, the way I... If I'm talking to a student on the phone, I, I have a way of showing them um, how to think about it. And I combine the two together so that uh, they, you know, they're able to make certain distinctions um, between them. And you'll see as I explain this. So um, this may, this probably will end up taking two videos. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll, we'll you know, just see how much, how many it, it takes, but you'll get it. Um, just realize that this may be either one, two, possibly even three videos. Okay. So with that said, let me go on here. Okay. Now, um, FIFO. Okay. FIFO means first in, first out. So that's the an acronym for it, first in, first out. And also notice that we're also talking about my cost of goods available for sale less my cost of ending inventory is still my cost of goods sold, okay? Which is no different than what we did for specific ID and for weighted average. We had a cost available for sale, and then we did an inventory to get our ending inventory, and the difference between the two becomes our cost of goods sold, okay? No different here for FIFO, and no different here for LIFO except LIFO stands for last in first out okay and so um, so that even though these are on two different slides here you have FIFO first in first out and that should read right here right there it should read last in first out my poor typing okay um, they both basically work the same exact way. Now, as you saw, I'm bouncing here between these two slides, okay, FIFO and LIFO. But in order to be able to understand the concept between both of them, um, I'm going to go down to a blank slide and work from here, okay? Now, this is what, like I said, this is what I do with students when they call up on the telephone. And on the telephone, obviously, you're not in front of me and you don't have a piece of paper, okay? And I'm not writing down on the paper showing you. What I tell the student is, is write this down when I tell you and use your imagination, okay? Now, what do I mean by this? Well, here we go. Let's say um, it's Monday, okay? It's Monday. And you make wonderful ice cream. Okay, you're, you're the best ice cream maker. Everybody likes your ice cream, okay? And on Monday, somebody calls up from, let's say, a church or something like this and says, hey, you know, can you make us, you know, some ice cream? We need this not much. And you said, nah, no, no problem, not, not a biggie, okay? And so um, in, in your house, now imagine your refrigerator, okay? That's your refrigerator. And if you opened up your refrigerator, imagine opening the door and the light comes on and on the shelf, there's nothing in your refrigerator. Okay. So there's, you know, to make ice cream, you're going to need milk. Okay. But you have no milk in your refrigerator. So really the value of your milk in your refrigerator is zero. Okay. All right. So what do you have to do? Well, you have to go to the store, right? So the next day on Tuesday, you go to the store 
And when you go to the store, um, you buy five gallons of ice, uh, five gallons of milk, right? Because that's what you figure you will need. And when you go through the cashier, um, each one of those gallons of milk costs one dollar, right? So you end up paying five dollars for the five gallons of milk. Okay. You come home and you open up your refrigerator and on the top shelf in the refrigerator there, okay, um, you put the five gallons of milk, right? And you close the refrigerator door. So now the question is, you know, how much, what is the value of the inventory of the milk in your refrigerator? Now, before it seems too easy and you start laughing at me thinking, what's going on here, all right? You know, yes, you know there's $5 worth of milk in that refrigerator, okay? And you're thinking, oh, this guy's stupid, right? Not, you know, talking about this, all right? Just bear with me here. Okay, so in your refrigerator, you have five gallons of milk, okay? So, you know, you don't need this milk until Friday, Right. I mean, sorry, you don't need the ice cream until Friday over here, right? And so you kind of like plan that uh, you'll go and uh, you'll probably start making the ice cream on Thursday, all right? So on Wednesday, you get a, another phone call and they say, hey, you know, they heard you're making the ice cream. Uh, you know, we got this much more, this many more people coming. Um, you know, we need you to make a lot more ice cream. Okay. Yeah. Ah, sure. Fine. No problem. All right. So on Thursday, you go down to the grocery store. Okay. Again, and this time you're going to buy seven gallons of ice cream. Okay. But let's say when you buy the seven gallons of ice cream, the price of the ice cream went up. I'm sorry, seven gallons of ice cream, seven gallons of milk. Right. And the price of the milk went up. Right. It went up on Wednesday and it went up from one dollar to two dollars. Okay, so when you go to the cashier, you know you're going to pay fourteen dollars for those seven gallons. Right? Now you come home, all right, and when you you know you go and you're looking at your refrigerator and this is what your refrigerator looks like. Okay. And when you open up the door, okay, you're going to open up the door again, and in the refrigerator, right, you're going to have the five gallons that you previously had in there, right, sitting on the shelf. Now, I don't know about you, but, you know, my mother always taught me to rotate the milk, meaning I always use the oldest ones first, okay? But, you know, you know that you're going to be using those five gallons the next day along with, you know, the seven gallons. So, you know, you're not going to waste your time by pulling all of those five gallons out, sticking in the seven and putting the five in behind them. Okay. You're not going to mess with that. Right. So what you decide to do is you decide to take those five gallons of milk and push them to the back of the refrigerator. Now, remember, those five gallons were the first ones in first in okay those five gallons okay. and then you take and you put the seven gallons in the front of them okay now I can't do this very well well maybe I could let me just use my little bit of imagination here okay draw this up as a real nice picture. So if I have one, two, three, four, five, here's five gallons of milk, okay? And you push them to the back. Now in front of them, you're going to put seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, so let me just color these in. OK, 
okay? Use your imagination here, okay? That's the whole idea, because if you're using your imagination and you're thinking about this, it makes it so much easier to understand, okay? I'm, I've never actually done this where I've actually had to draw this stuff out here, right? But you get the idea, okay? Um, you know, your first ones, the first five, okay, that you put into the refrigerator, they were the first ones in and you pushed them to the back, okay? Then you had seven that you had to put in, so you put them in in the front, but they were the last ones in, last in, right, was the seven of them, okay? And you close the refrigerator door. Now, the question becomes, what's the total value of the milk that's in the refrigerator? Well, obviously, the total value is this five $5 and this $14. So the total value of the milk in the refrigerator is $19, right? Okay, you know, that's your goods available for sale. Okay, all right. So now, it's Friday, okay? And on Friday, you decide you're going to start um, making the ice cream, okay? And so you, you go over to your refrigerator and you open the door and you need to take out six of those gallons. Okay. Now, and the question becomes, which six? Okay. Well, let's talk about FIFO first. Remember, FIFO means first in are the first ones out. Okay. So when you open up the refrigerator and you have to take out six gallons of milk, well, the first ones in were those, you know, five in the back. Okay. So you would reach around uh, your last ones in, the, the group of seven, and out of the um, group of five, you would take one, two, three, four, five. You, so you would take those five, so they're no longer in the refrigerator because they were the first ones in. Remember, we're using FIFO, first in are the first ones out. And then we need one more because we want six gallons, so we would take one of the seven. Okay, so we would uh, subtract one from the seven, so that means there would only be six of the last ones in. Okay, first in, first out. Easy, right? Okay. So now if I ask you, what is the value of the milk that remains in the refrigerator? Okay, well, it's no longer $19 because you took milk out, right? Well, what do you have in the refrigerator? You have six of them that were the last ones that, that were in there. And those six were at $2 each, okay? So the value of your milk in your refrigerator is $12, okay? And that's first in, first out. <coughs> that simple. Okay, got that? All right, because now I'm going to erase this because what I'm going to do now is I'm going to explain LIFO, last in, first out. Okay. So let me erase some of this here. Get rid of the important stuff here. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Okay. So let's back up in our, our memory here, okay, a little bit. You know, it's Thursday. We bought the milk. We put it in the refrigerator, all right? So we have, you know, the five in the back, the seven in the front. It's Friday again, and you decide that, you know, you're going to need these six gallons of milk, right? But you know you're kind of going to use all of the milk, but you know you, you know you just you need six for right now. And if you're using the uh, LIFO method, LIFO means last in, first out. Okay. Well, when you open up the refrigerator door, you know if you're using LIFO, you're going you know you're just going to take the milk that's in the front, right? Because they were the last ones that were in. Right, so you would end up taking six of the ones that were that you had put in last. So that's you would take that one out, that one out, that one out, 
that went out, that went out, and that went out. So you take six, right? Well, if you took six away from the, that uh, group of seven that were the last ones in, right, that means you would only have one from the group that was last in, and you would still have the group of five that were the first ones in, okay? So the question becomes, what is your inventory valuation? Well, if I had one from the group of seven, you know, they were at $2 each, so that one is still worth $2 in there. And the five, they were at a dollar each, so that's, they were worth five. So the five and the two means that your va the value of your inventory in the refrigerator is seven, okay? And that's the value, you know, in the inventory valuation for last in, first out, okay? And really, it's, it's that simple, okay? However, we're not done, all right? I'm going to have to make another video, all right? But um, before I go there, you know, just realize that this is the, the crux of the first in, first out, and last in, first out, the crux of FIFO and LIFO. It doesn't matter how many you put in there, okay? Um, you know, I could have had that refrigerator and had, okay, so let me draw a new refrigerator. And this is just one step further. Okay. I could have had the five in there. Okay. And then I could have had the seven more in there. And remember, I pushed the five to the back. All right. I put the seven in the front. And let's say I bought, I don't know, say six more. Okay. So I pushed the five even further into the back. Then the seven would get pushed in, you know, further back. And the six would be put in front. Okay. The first ones in are the five, then the next one in are the seven, and the last one in is the six. So if you're using FIFO, right, first in, first out, if you're using FIFO, first ones in, you would start with the five in the back, and then you would move to the seven, and then you would move to the, to the ones in the front, all depending upon, uh, you know, how many you needed. And... The same thing with LIFO. If I was using LIFO, okay, I'd start with the last ones in first. So I would start with the six first, then I would move to the seven, and then I'd move to the five, okay? That's the difference between FIFO and LIFO. And if you, you keep this, whenever you work with any of the problems, if you keep this idea of the refrigerator in mind, and you're looking at, um, you know, you're looking at the problem and you see, you see a beginning inventory, and you see a purchase, and you see another purchase, and you see another purchase, and you want to know what the value of your inventory is, okay? Depending upon whether you're using FIFO or LIFO, right? FIFO, you'd start up here at the beginning inventory. LIFO, you'd be started, you know, your, from your last purchase because they were the last ones in. And you work your way through by saying, okay, if I have to take out however many, right, well, then you just start backing them out until you, you can't back out anymore and what's left over is still in your refrigerator. And then you just extend it out as the price, you know, as to the price of, the, the value of what's actually in your inventory or still in the refrigerator, okay? So understand that what I've gone through so far as far as FIFO and LIFO is concerned is half of my example. So um, we're going to come back and we're going to uh, look at, uh, you know, continue on in, this, in, uh, in a second video and finish off these methods, all right? Look, look for me in the next video.